Last bag of metals here. Going to be poured in some lead again. This is the big one. Got it heat in there on the hob. Should be about 1.2 kilograms when I'm done. I'm not sure if I'll get another one out of it. We will see, but I doubt it. I've weighed it and it's around 2,100 2, grams. It's not enough. I need about 2.4, 2.5. Using propane again. And a big crucible. Put my mask on. Not too much gas left in this, but I still have enough gas, so I'll go with just in case. I reckon I'll do that. Should be anyway. Quite a bit in there now. Pour that soon. Pour quite a bit of milk food. I'm going to Not too much cross though. Also, very heavy. Ooh, very. Really lost it. <laughs> a slight splash there. None you need, thankfully. Less next time. <laughs> that was dangerous. But it always is. If I have had lead fumes, they are not nice. I've had many different types of things. Uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I was scared. This time. It's about halfway there. Sounds like I'm running low on gas. On the, uh, this is freezing. The brass part of the blowtorch running low on juice. But I've also used this quite a lot. 
it's mostly gas. Extremely heavy. Well over a kilo. Won't be too much left. I'll make what some small items and whatever's left over. Which won't be much. Gotta get it all liquefied now. Make sure it's nice and uniform. Take a little while.
halfway there. Run another one down as well. Bottom now, if I do that. Not too much there. Very hot. There, there you go. Almost there. Mmm. Still got the thin glossy material. Not much. cool very fast due to the massive size of the ingot it's incredibly hot right now sweating quite a bit with this let's check the temperature that was the top of the gas thing no worries 320 on the mold and dropping rapid Fair enough. So the mould is at the melting temperature of lead, which is about 440, which means this is surprisingly pure. It's quite good. Still got that left over there. Not sure what to do with that. Probably going to pour them in these. Make some stuff out of whatever's left over. I'll post them in the thumbnail. Check out Twitter and Instagram, I'll post more pictures there of the full set of everything I've created so far, as well as the whole shelf. Just letting this dry off now, it'll start warping on the top soon and I'll need to get some more propane on that, just in case it has a deformation. Yeah, it's already starting, can you see that? Warping. Try and get a focus on that for you. There we go. See all these small sort of striations and defects appearing in the bar? That's because it's cooling very quick. I can leave that, but it'll probably leave a nasty ditch in the center of the bar, which I won't want. Crucible there with lots of borax that have sucked out all sorts of stuff, bismuth, mud, and other things that were connected to it because it was found on the floor in the grass like most salvage 
won't be doing a video of these smaller pieces. But I will post the results. And have a nice way up at the end. So check for that. This is just cooling now. Shouldn't be too long. I want to make sure it's thoroughly cooled due to the massive size of the bar. No, it's still very hot. That's the mold itself. I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Because that's where I'll need to be placing it. Yeah, it's starting to take upon a dimple in the middle now. And don't like that. Sort of cracking too. To the shiny inner centre. See that crack? And that's the defect that I was on about. I don't like it when my bars do this. It's because it's cooling too quick. So I'll need to warm up the top slightly. In order to get rid of that and make a nice uniform bar. Do that now. Surprising the gas lasted this long. an incredibly good heat sink that every time I heat it up it <laughs> cools extremely rapidly and defects again ending up with weird striations and dimples don't think it'll do it this time it's gonna take some cooling this though uh, it's still 300 which means that the bottom is likely still liquid I think I'll give it a couple of minutes because moving that's going to be heavy. It is a massive bar of lead after all. Yeah, it's taken upon a little defect on the top game. It's cooling better though. Hopefully this will be it. And it won't end up with any strange deformations. There's a very small one, but it don't look like it's going to be a hobble. I just don't like large holes within my ingots. It looks nasty. It's unbecoming. That would not be good work. Yeah, it's starting to solidify nicely now. One sixty towards one corner or the other. That's an even cooling. Definitely. Very hot indeed. Right, let's remove this. Carefully. 
No, it's going to fall from that angle. Damn it. I'm going to have to wait a minute to be safe. Great idea. More support. Yeah, that works. Hey. I need a graphite holder. That's what I need. I did use a piece of graphite to hold that. It was quite effective. Why haven't I done that before? Well, that's new. Graphite as a tool itself. That's still incredibly hot. Let me check the temperature. Should be solidified. Yeah, should be. I think I'll go for it. There's a monster heavy bar. As you can see. Move that back, then maybe an impact. Wow, that's heavy. Oh, it's just like sort of coming straight out of the mold with density. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Well, that is a bag. Look at that thing. That'll be about 1.2, 1.3 kilos. Very pretty bar at that. I'll take a picture, post it in the thumbnail, the weight, this. I think I'm going to let it cool naturally rather than quench it since it'll spray water absolutely everywhere. Look at the size of it. Still quite hot I imagine. Yep. Over 100 degrees. It's quite reflective so it's not going to be giving a very accurate reading. Anyway, check the thumbnail and I'll see you then next time.